In this video, I'll demonstrate using Vasalo to investigate insider threats using event data from systems that would be common to any large organization. As I log in, you'll see that Vasalo has already identified suspect behavior and proactively created a workspace with the relevant data to begin my investigation. Employee 1 at the center of the workspace is the focus of this investigation and is surrounded by important contextual information and suspect events like failed logins and this group of 401k deductions. The histogram view quickly reveals $80,000 worth of deductions over a span of three months. This is certainly uncommon, but not necessarily indicative of an insider threat. Maybe we'll look at those in more detail later. But first, let's take a look at these two failed logins. I see the first one occurred on July 6th in the Ashburn, Virginia area. And it looks like the second one did as well. One interesting thing I noticed right away is that both of these failed logins are to systems that Employee 1 doesn't even have access to. To investigate why Employee 1 might be interested in those systems, I'll attempt to find a path between the applications and the employee. I see Vasalo has found two paths, which it will highlight for me. Clicking the Add button will add the missing entity for one of the paths to my workspace. Similarly, I'll look for any paths between the accounting system and employee one. View those paths and add the missing entities to my workspace. Now, as I rearrange things here, I notice that each of the permissions that are part of the path between the applications and employee one actually belong to employee one's manager or coworkers. Now I'm really starting to get suspicious of employee one's actions. Let's take a closer look at the failed logins. I can see here that I have the remote IP address from the failed login connection, and I'm going to search the rest of the system for any other events referencing that same IP address. Here I see the same two failed logins I already know about, but I also see a successful remote access attempt in login, as well as three failed remote access attempts from the same IP address. Let me add all of them to my graph. Now let me select all of these remote access events and move them to the top of the graph so it's easier to see what they're related to. A few final tweaks to the layout makes it easy to see that each of the failed remote accesses belongs to employee one's manager or coworkers. Or is that really just employee one trying to log in with those users' accounts? Let's take a closer look at those remote access failures. An easy way to do that is to select all the remote access events and use the pop-out histogram to select only the failed attempts. The edge selection shortcut highlights the entities connected to the remote access failures and indeed confirms that they are associated with employee one's manager and coworkers. At this point, I'm feeling fairly confident that employee one was attempting to use his or her coworkers' accounts to gain access to the wiki and accounting systems. Now it's time to dig a little deeper to see what other evidence we can uncover, including a possible motive. Looking at the timeline reveals a spike in activity around the July 6th timeframe. In fact, there were three remote access failures, two failed application logins, and one successful remote access within a 28 minute time span late on Monday night, the 6th of July. Let's take a look at the map to see where these events are occurring. Here we see employee one who lives in Ashburn, Virginia. Not too surprisingly, all of the events also occurred from an IP address in the same general vicinity. At this point, we have plenty of evidence to suggest wrongdoing by employee one, but we don't really know why. Let's see if we can use Vasala to figure that out too. Looking back over to the graph, I'm going to do a search for all events related to employee one. And I'll add them to my graph. As you can see, some of them are already on the graph. If we look more closely at these newly added events, we notice a performance review from last November with a rating indicating that action is required. That's not good. We also see a number of unexcused absences popping up intermittently over the past year. Which finally brings us back to the 401k withdrawals we saw at the beginning of our investigation. Some quick housekeeping will remove the positive 401k contributions 
so that I can focus on the withdrawals. This looks like someone in financial trouble. Regularly withdrawing from a 401k account, a poor performance review and multiple unexcused absences would seem to be a plausible motive for trying to gain access to the accounting system, presumably to steal money. At this point, it's time to involve HR so we can find out who employee one actually is so we can take further action. As an investigator, I don't have access to personal employee data like home address or even name, so I'm going to share my workspace with someone in HR. When I log in as the HR user, I'm immediately notified that someone has shared a workspace with me. Clicking on the notification takes me directly to that shared workspace. The HR view of the investigator's workspace looks slightly different. While the graph structure is the same, the HR user sees employee photos and names. Vasala's fine grain access control model is able to restrict individual properties for different user groups without requiring separate copies for each. We now finally know that employee one is actually Andrew Cooper of 8723 Camellia Street in Ashburn, Virginia. That's the end of this demo. I hope you got a flavor for how Vasalo could be used to investigate insider threats. No two installations of Vasalo are alike. It's built from the ground up to support customizations you need to address the nuances of your unique problems. Please visit Vasalo.org to learn more about this exciting open source big data analysis and visualization platform.